Hello everybody. <laughs> My name is Ever the Jester. Today I'm gonna be overhauling Solitude. Let's get right into it because I hate long intros. Off we go! Now for you new viewers, you may be thinking, oh this guy probably has like 50 fucking mods. I don't want to download all these. Believe it or not, I actually only have four mods that I use to make this possible. The first mod is called TGC Skyrim V1.1. And it's made by B Very of A. Now the thing is, you're gonna have to go to the work in progress section to find this mod, as you are gonna have to with a couple other really good mods that are gonna be explained further into the video. And yeah, you wanna just make sure that you're able to find all these mods. So go to the work in progress section, they should be there. TGC Skyrim affects mainly the dock area and the under area of solitude, mainly outside of solitude. This mod is not going to affect the inside of Solitude, which is why we're going to have another mod uh, that affects the inside of Solitude, but we'll get to that later. This mod is going to prioritize the outdoor area of Solitude, adding a bunch of different buildings, boats, different types of interiors, and all that kind of great stuff. So, it definitely looks really, really nice. So let's just take a look around real quick. This mod is going to prioritize what the outdoor area of Solitude looks like, making it look a lot more royal and a lot more rich and a lot more secluded. Like a, like a tropical paradise in the medieval huh? world, which is going to really affect how the game looks and how immersive it is. It's definitely a really, really great mod, and I don't want to spend too much time in this video because I do know how it is. I do know people want to just get their mod and go, so we're just going to look a little bit further and then we'll move on to the next mod. Now that you've seen what it looks like at night, here's what it looks like during the day. As you can see, there's a bunch of boats, there's a bunch of new buildings, and there's a bunch of new like activities going on, such as like the lights and the bonfire up in the top right corner by that banner. It just looks really nice and it's a very, very good touch to Solitude. It makes it look a lot more royal, a lot more rich. So definitely give this mod a shot because it's definitely one of the best mods that you can have for the outdoor area of Solitude. Be sure to go into the work in progress section to find it. You will not be able to search it up. It is by Be Very of A. On the inside, we have the mod called Another Solitude and City Trees. This is a mix that I use. It's a very, very nice looking mod, so let's just take a look around. Why are you naked? I went through this whole city and I didn't see one naked guard, and then I decided to hit the record button and now you're naked. Nice. Another Solitude is compatible with TGC Solitude version 1.1. Just make sure that you load this above that mod. That way they will work together and not against each other. And make sure you put these at the top of the load order. Just to be sure that they overwrite each other and everything works properly. This mod is going to really make Solitude look a lot more industrialized, a lot more royal, a lot more alive. It just makes everything look a lot better in my honest opinion. Adding this with city trees really does make for a really nice looking royal city, sort of similar to the Assassin's Creed series. Overall, I think this mod is really great. Definitely give it a shot if you're looking to overhaul Solitude. The final mod is called 13 to Gamma Infinium, and you can mix this with Azerite Weathers as well. A Gamma Infinium is going to make the light look a lot more realistic. It's a lighting overhaul, so I would really recommend you only have this installed, no other lighting mods installed while you have this. This is really going to make the lights look a lot better, look a lot more shiny, and a lot more warm. Honestly, it's just a really great overhaul overall, so I would definitely recommend you try this. Especially at night, it makes everything look a lot better. The shadows, the fading of the light, everything about it. It's probably one of my favorite lighting mods and I definitely would recommend it. 13 Nagama Infinium and Azurite Weathers work hand in hand so if you do not want a weather mod just download Nagama Infinium for this but if you would like a new weather mod or you can't find a weather mod that you really like I would recommend using Azurite Weathers because it'll make the weather a lot more diverse and a lot more just there. A lot more present. I highly recommend 
both of these mods. Not even for just this, I recommend it for your general playthrough because they are... Huh? Why is that guard naked? So a naked guy walks up to your general's house and you just do nothing. You just let him in? Yeah. It's no wonder the Empire got assassinated. And that, my friends, is how I overhauled Solitude with just less than six mods on PS4. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, yo.